Welcome back. We're in court once again. And we are cross-examining a certain witness who, who clearly has a testimony that is all over the place. Clearly lies. And now we do have more objections. So, yes, we will answer yes to the judge here. Because we know quite a bit that they don't. The witness claimed she had seen it before. Yes, indeed, the clock. She claimed like she'd seen it in a shop, but it's a custom-made clock. This directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it. You should have known this, Judge. Please produce this evidence that will prove the witness had not seen the clock before. Is that made by Larry Butts? It's simple. This clock was never in any store. Ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. I impossible. Everything is sold in stores. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Hmm. Oh? The excuse is not on sale today. What's happening with her heart? Oh dear god. What the hell happened here? What's it to you, porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. Oh! Oh, 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 silly me. Did I, um, like, lose it? Yes, I did. Tee hee. Wink. Scary. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Hmm, oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion of this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... I don't think she did it, so it's like you had heard about it. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way she could have known that the thinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. The wiretap. Have a look at this. Ah, oh, uh, that. Uh, <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim, Miss Mia Fay's phone, were you not? Oh. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. Well, thank you, Judge. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. The screws were missing. Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah? I think I can. It's simple. What? Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone the weapon was a clock is... Uh, what? Is it that again? I don't remember now. Um, caught, caught in a while. Actually, there's something I want to hold on to. It was this time. Uh, clock isn't talking. Hmm. So maybe not that. So it's like the proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock. It's got to be the phone conversation because what else is it? It's got to be that. I present the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. 
Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to for me. Again? What is it this time? Is this... It, it's a clock. It's made to look like the statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. It was April, May, through July. You used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I... I... Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. La, la, la. Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May, shut up, all of you. Oh, God. I don't know what I was said now. You, you liar. Well, yeah. It's no fair. All of you ganging up on me like that. Oh, so I'm the bad girl, is that it? Is that it? Uh, uh, ah! And such. That did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal the final blow. Um, why the white hair? Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't tippity tapping uh, irrelevant? Yeah, she's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants to say, her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. While this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped her phone? Huh, I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? What? Damn, she's good. Well, you're not the first man who's thought that. And of course, I can. And will. Can't be serious. No way. Way, I say, way. Oh, and I assure you, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. Hmm. Okay, so, the killing happened around nine at night. Why, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. Room service? Ice coffee, I believe it was. Ice coffee. You know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts, and then you have regular cold coffee. Uh, yeah, ice coffee. Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. Wink. Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. So how did she see it? So, where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, May Maya Fay, Maya Fay, commit murder. No, they're going to let her just walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on, think of something. There was two people. Call the bellboy as a witness. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you've sunken quite low enough already. Objection. I object to calling the bellboy. Why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. However, if you agree to one condition, I consent to calling this witness. Condition? If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. And thereby, you must also accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fay. That is my condition. What? Better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? Accept the condition. Alright, I've got nothing to lose, except for, well, everything. 
Understood. I accept your condition. Hmm. Fool. You fell right into my trap. Uh oh. Um. Uh, wait. Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe we are ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. He's got the tea set and everything. Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I am happy to be of service. The tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. Alright. I am the head bellboy at the fine gate. Water Hotel in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Right. I'm ready. I hope. This is it. I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder now. My uh, will be finished. Okay. I am the head bellboy at the fine gateway hotel. Like, what, what we got in terms of what we can present? Nothing really in like terms of evidence, so we're gonna have to press him. We've I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course, and I delivered the ice coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. Was there anyone else there? You are sure it was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir? It's an endearing mannerism of mine? How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she... The guests uh, favoured me with a um, embar em embracer, sir. Embracer? Is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir. But not a French kiss, sir. More of a pick on the cheek. Why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanour, sir. It was a moment I shall never ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. I delivered the ice coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. Hmm. This bellboy wouldn't have any reason to lie, but I have to find something to use in his testimony. More time. I'll press him until he spins the beans or his tea. Oh dear. I'm the head bellboy at the Fine Gateway Hotel in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. Press him on that. Press him on that. Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May in personally, sir. Not only did I see her in and all her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. And then I saw them, and I... Ahem, I, uh, ahem. The point being, I remember her quite well, sir. Yes, what then? It's no good. There's nothing there. It's... Is that it? Tsk, tsk. Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Hmm, it was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. Can't let this happen. Can I? Protest! Wait! Please wait. Yes? Does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question, that's all. Okay. This is really it. This is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Um... I don't know! Room service? Tell me again about, uh, room service. Uh, again, sir? At exactly nine, I delivered room service to Miss May in room 303. Guest had requested iced coffee. $18 worth of charge, as I recall. I see. 
15 dollars. Doesn't that seem a bit expensive? Yes, well, iced coffee for two, you know. Ha ha ha! And we don't skimp on the ice, sir. Yes. What did you say? What did you just say? Uh, oh, uh, uh, rather quite. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Was someone else staying in Miss May's room? Objection. I object. That was objectionable. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you, uh, you didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you normally supposed to mention. Ah, uh, yes, quite, indeed. It was the, uh, good barista there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... He asked me not to mention it if I was specifically... If I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Oh. You fool. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I've done it. I've won. Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man. Correct. Yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room. That's right, sir. Hmm. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hope that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Would you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who? Mr. Wright, who is this other person? Simple. It was... Uh... The man with Miss May. The man who checked in with Miss May. Ooh! Your Honor, as he has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Or ha has been, you, you, know, you know. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. <laughs> My God, what, a, what a convenient little setup, but it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it. It was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. Oh! Upstart. Amateur. These accusations are ludicrous. Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes. Oh, yes, Your Honor. That is all today for the trial of Mayor Fay. Court is adjourned. September 7th, 2, 24 p.m. District Court. Defendant Lobby. Number one. Mr. Wright, you're amazing in there. Really? I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> and again, that other attorney was pretty cool too. Huh? The face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips. Sends shivers up my spine. Hmm, if you say so. So, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Um, well... No, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? Uh, they arrested her. Guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. I'm going to find out more about this man. You think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry. I'll find you by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you. Tomorrow? That's a bit... Alright, calm down. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. But it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, 
There's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. May testimony added to the court. Right, the victim dodged an attack, then ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center, and it's up to me to set her free. To be continued. Saving. Oh, uh, no, 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 we'll just carry straight on. September 7th, 3.11 p.m. Detention Center Visitor's Room. Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place like this. Like this, I think this? It's really quite moving. Not, you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask of me, then? Hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? Right, so let's have a look, look here. Talk, then. That man... Not the man who stayed in your room in the... in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way. Jose. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Hmm. We'll try that later. The wiretap. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? On Maya's phone. I, I'm, I'm not sure which way around it is. Oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. It is. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep. This woman is impossible to talk to. Right, your attitude. Say, are you so angry? I mean, don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it, bottom-feeding scum-sucking liar. What? Bottom? Can't tell, does she have a thing against lawyers? Just against me? All right, then, so present some evidence here. But we've got to go with that, haven't we? Hey, guess what? Actually, I am going to hate your guts. So get lost, because, well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. Yes, that isn't going to help at all, is it? Right, let's just see where we can go, then. Ah! September 7th, Crossburg Law Offices. Huh? Looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. I mean, straight away. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hang hanging on that wall? Yeah, yeah. It was a painting of... Uh, sunflowers, yes. Uh, wasn't it himself? A, a fisherman? I don't remember. Wasn't it... It was a very memorable... Wasn't a very memorable painting. Anyhow. I don't know if that was right, but... Shouldn't I have a green tick? So maybe I got that wrong. One, yep. Sunflowers. Hmm. That's suspicious. <laughs> it's just like all those options lead to the same thing. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. It's like all these same things again. It's like the same again, isn't it? Ah, oh, this is new. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 incident. Exib exhibit A and Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Let's I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Hmm. Ah ha ha. Photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it. With the one I took. Oh, definitely. Like that's going to be more 
useful because we know that's the murderer, so. Solid mahogany desk. Yep. Done that already. Same with this stuff. Just in case, you know. What was that? Oh, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Back then. So let's move. I'll go here and be like, haha, look at this. You again! Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Does he shave his head? Don't tell me. Right, let's present in this picture. Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times, I'm not telling you. Where did you... Aha, uh -huh, a reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Uh, why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, uh, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Do you have any proof that was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. So close. Alright then, so it's like, yeah, we need to get more. It's probably going to be in that room. September 7th, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, uh, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the gateway, gateways, gatewaters, rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It'll be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa, Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murder iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Um, we want straight off here. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No. No, I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April, May, June, July. How about I write an affi affidavit swearing that that's him? An affidavit? This guy is way too excited about this. Have him write it. Well, sure. Why not? Yes. I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. Uh huh. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Alright then, so. Let's just do a little bit of questioning here for him. Miss May. About Miss May. Oh, her? Sir? Not a boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I'd say. D do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. He's just excited because they can get business out of this. Alright, the man with May. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, uh, yes? Struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of... Danger. There we are in to There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. Got a photo of that man. I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo? Hmm. Luckily, I did. Uh, could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea, sir. Jeez. Um, right, so I think we'll examine the room here, just see if there's anything else here. Huh? Well, we knew that. Ah, please leave that as it is, sir. That's the drawer of terror hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. It's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy's serious. I don't believe it. Ah, still see. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, if like, anything that changes, we'll see. 
Ah, yes. We plan to install a telescope in that window, of course. Just five dollars will earn you three minutes of view of view to a kill. Just kidding, sir. Oh, <laughs> by that look in his eyes, I'd say he was more than serious. Yeah, we know this. Ah, I beg your pardon, sir, but if you could please refrain from touching those. It's part of the decor. I call it the last drink before murder. It'll be famous. The talk of the hotel industry. Okay. Simple bed. Is that it, then? Flowers? A vase. 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 As expected. Yeah, so that's it, then. Right, so, I think we're going to end this part here, because we're at roughly the half hour mark, sort of. And then the next part, we'll go back to the detention center and go see if we can cross-examine... Well, not cross-examine, but just question her once again. Now we have an affidavit. So, we'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.